Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are diving into Imagine Music Festival's 2021 lineup and I'll be sharing with you guys my artist recommendations and which artists I'm most excited about to see. Welcome back, you guys. For those that don't know you, my name is Aid. I'm a music festival content creator. If you are looking for the latest in tips and festival lineups and everything like that, be sure to hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. Today, we are talking about Imagine Music Festival, which I attended for the first time in 2019, and I had an awesome time. I will link some of my videos up here throughout the video for you guys to check out. I have daily vlogs and I have a review of the festival. If you guys are interested in going, and that brings me to that I will be attending Imagine Music Festival again. I will be joining as an influencer again in their ambassador program. So I'm super excited to be returning to Imagine Music Festival this year. Chase, my boyfriend, has also never been, so he will get to experience it for the first time. There's lots to unpack here, so I will definitely have another video on tips and how to prepare and everything like that if you guys are interested in a video like that. Definitely leave me some comments down below. I know that there is a new venue this year, which is where Tomorrow World used to be. So lots for me to research and figure out. And then I will come back to you guys with my best tips on how to prepare. First, though, we just need to talk about this lineup because it is fire. Like I said, we are in lineup season and it's crazy to be thinking about this. But I am really excited about this lineup, just like the other lineups. There is some special hidden gems, though, in this lineup that... Imagine always seems to bring they always seem to bring the heat with these jam packed lineups and there's a little bit of everything for everyone. So we're going to dive into it today. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, you guys, you know the drill. So we are kicking it off. First off, we have the top headliners at the top of this lineup. It is September 17th through the 19th. So I'll be interested to see which artists play which days. We got Excision. We got Grizz. We got Elenium. We got Cascade. Hello? Okay. Okay. It also makes me really happy to see Grizz in that headliner spot in a lot of these lineups that I've been seeing. He's been in headliner spots for like Electric Forest, but to see that translate to other festival lineups, I'm just a really proud person. You guys know Excision, king of bass, king of dubstep. We love him. Grizz, another amazing bass and dubstep artist that always just brings the best and good vibes. I'm so excited to see him post quarantine. Then we got Elenium, our sad boy, feelsy boy. Ugh, I'm excited to see him. It's been so long. Then we got a good old Cascade classic set. I'm excited about that. And then we got a special guest, Griffin. And it's definitely a live set because it doesn't say DJ set next to it. So that is definitely very exciting to have a live set from Griffin. It's been too, too long. And then we got a good faith live set from Maddie on, which like, if you just put Maddie on Good Faith Live Set on the lineup, I'm already there. You know what I mean? Um, for those that don't know who Maddie on is, he's an amazing French artist that has the I don't even know how to describe his music. It's just so good and feelsy. Like if you like Porter Robinson and more so in that like fun future bassy type of realm that just is feel good vibes. That's the best way to describe Maddie on, honestly. <laughs> and then we have the bottom here, which I think there were four stages last time. So there was main stage. There was a side stage that had like um, smaller artists, local artists. And then there was Disco Inferno. And then there was more of like a base stage. So I think there'll be a similar layout to that, which is kind of how they have the lineup set up a little bit. So I would be interested to see how this all plays out. First up, right up at the top, I think these people will be on the main stage, if I'm not mistaken. We got Blau. We love Blau. I haven't seen Blau in a hot minute. He's probably one of my all time favorite artists. I just love his music and the emotions and the lyrics and everything like that. Then we got a really cool back to back, which there are a lot of really awesome back to backs on this lineup. But first up, we got Adventure Club back to back right at 10 for my bass and dubstep fans. You guys will definitely enjoy that set. We got BTSM, which like we love a good BTSM set. Anytime BTSM is on a lineup, I am there. They are just amazing, always great energy, really great bass set, always. Blunts and Blondes is another good one for my bass artist. Carnage, Back to Back, Borgor, not for me, could be for other people. <laughs> Charles the First, oh, such a really good freeform bass artist. He just dropped an album recently too, um, that was really good. Closey, our queen, she is more of like your jungle, freeform, melodic bass, always so, so good. Dabin, we're going to get in our feels, our sad boy feels with Dabin. We got Dion Timmer, another bass artist. And then this back to back, you guys, has me really excited. We got Ghastly back to back Joyride. What? 
I didn't know that was a thing. I think they've been on other lineups, but like, hello? <laughs> That's definitely going to be more your base house vibe. Really good high energy. I'm really interested to see how they both combine their styles, what their energy like together is on the stage and everything. So that is definitely really cool. Then we got Casbo. Excuse me while I go on a feelsy trip here. Oh, his last album got me through quarantine, honestly. Hazo back to back Subtronics. That's going to be insane. I will definitely catch that set, at least a little bit of it. Liquid Stranger, also amazing. I think there's a Wakan takeover. Yeah, there's a Wakan takeover. So Liquid Stranger is on here twice. I'm not sure if that means he's going to have two sets, but that means he might have two sets. So that could be interesting for my Wakan people. We got Peekaboo, who I absolutely love. Another freeform type bass dubstep artist he kind of goes all over the spectrum of bass but he is really amazing this subtronic sets is very interesting it says wooked on tronic set <laughs> he's probably said what that means on social media i have no idea what that means but anytime that there's like a specialty set from an artist i'm definitely interested to check it out and then cascade is going to have a second set and that'll be a daytime pool party so there is typically camping at this festival and so i don't think i will be camping I'm curious if you're only allowed to go to the pool parties because of your camping. Um, I don't think we're going to be camping. That's just my personal preference. Camping in September in Georgia doesn't really sound like the vibe to me. <laughs> we did a hotel and shuttle last time and that worked well for us. So I think we'll do the same. And then we got the Disco Inferno stage, which Emma and I and our crew, we lived at this stage basically that entire weekend. There were so many amazing house artists at this stage. They also had bass at this stage as well. We got Fisher. I took a break from Fisher. I feel like I got really like fished out, I guess you could say. And so I'm definitely interested to see what he's been doing and what he's been working on. He hasn't done any virtual sets or anything like that and hasn't released any new music really. So I'd be really interested to see what this set would be like if he's on there and how that goes, honestly. Lee Foss, he has been killing it this year. His record label, Repopulate Mars, has been killing it this year. Next up, we got Mala. We all know we love Mala, everyone. That bass house vibe just hits different. Shiba San, tech house vibe. Shiba San's on all these lineups, you guys. He's killing it, honestly. I love Shiba San. If you've never seen a Shiba San set, what are you doing? You need to go to one immediately. We got Walker and Royce. Ugh. Dirty Bird fam, we love this. We love seeing Walker and Royce. It always such good energy and just like hits it every time. John Summit, I feel like we are going to be seeing his name on a lot of lineups. He blew up throughout quarantine and this pandemic. He's been going at it for a while, but this past year, his songs have been hitting number one on Beatport and on the Tech House charts, on all the charts and everything like that. Love John Summit so much. We're definitely going to be seeing a lot of him on these lineups for sure. We got Noizu. We all know I love Noizu. I met Chase, my boyfriend, at a Noizu set, so we will definitely be there. Side piece. Mmm. Side piece. If you guys don't know who side piece is, that is nitty gritty back to back party favorite. That is a house duo for them, and they have been killing it with their releases so far this year, and I'm definitely excited to see a set from them. We got a good old sunburn set. Love Sunburn, got Vanessa on here, Dylan Nathaniel, and we got LPGOB. She's definitely on the up and coming rise as a house artist. She brings a live aspect to her set. She also plays piano and stuff like that. So I'm interested to see her set up and everything. West End is also on the come up. I saw him play at Dirty Bird Campout. He's had a couple of really solid releases and collabs this past year. Um, I would definitely be interested to see a live set, especially at Imagine, because a lot of people bring the heat at Imagine. Like the sets I saw at Imagine 2019 went off, like Seven Lions went off, Claude Van Stroke went off, Lane 8 went off, like any set I saw at Imagine, I was just blown away by. And I think it's because it's like one of the first big festivals halfway, like a little over halfway through the year. Because you kind of go through like all your May and spring festivals, summer, there's some festivals, but not too many. And then there's not really any big festivals until like August, September. And then that's when kind of the fall festivals start. So I feel like people just really bring the heat for the fall festivals and you get to see it at Imagine. So I'm definitely interested to see all these sets for sure. And then we got a John Summit daytime pool party. He'll have two sets. So that'll be a vibe, honestly, <laughs> like John Summit and Cascade by a pool just sounds really fun. So I hope it's not closed off to camping people, but I get it if it is because that's like a draw for people that camp. Then we got a Wakan takeover. You guys, this lineup is just so, so stacked. So we got Liquid Stranger. We got Champagne Drip B2B Lucid. That will be a really good back to back. I will definitely be there for those like 
melodic bass, freeform bass, just like in, oh, it's going to feel so good. <laughs> we got Lucy on here. I've never seen a full set from Lucy. I don't think I've seen any part of a set from Lucy. So I will definitely check that out. Schlump. I've talked about this on my channel. <laughs> Schlump always just gets me on whenever it's on a lineup. I'm just like Schlump, <laughs> Schlump. Schlump. <laughs> he's a bass artist he's definitely on the rise um it's nice to see his name kind of go up on these lineups so that's really cool for him uh g-rex another really awesome one this is kind of where i'm like uh i don't know too many of these i don't know essex or sully i've heard of mize he's definitely been on the rise it's really cool to see him on the come up a wakan family back-to-back -back set sounds kind of hype so i definitely want to check that out because it's always cool to see just the artists kind of like intermingle and combine their sounds and stuff like that so that sounds really cool i think this will be on the third stage if i'm not mistaken there will be the catch and release takeover on that disco inferno stage maybe but then there will be that fourth stage that i talked about that will probably have the wakan takeover or more of the base artists i remember g jones was on that other stage and some other artists were too so it could be interesting to see how they divide this up between the stages. Um, the rest of this, I'm not too familiar, except for Black Gummy. Love Black Gummy. Kayvon. I'm so proud of him. I love Kayvon. He's on the rise. I'm just like, he's always been one to watch on my list. And I'm really glad he's starting to get that recognition and starting to appear on these lineups. So it's really awesome to see his name on here. Leah Culver, I think we saw at Imagine 2019, was actually a really nice surprise. So she's really awesome. I can't remember what genre it was, but I just remember being really impressed by it. I think it was more so bass. Lick, also a really great bass artist. Mersive, another great bass artist. Or Kismet, I've talked about on my channel. They are definitely one to watch. They are 16 years old, non-binary, and just amazing to see and grow within this scene. It's just really amazing to be seeing someone grow throughout this scene at such a young age and to be on this lineup like that's just so dope for them so super excited that they're on this lineup no mana is on this lineup which emma and i think we'll check out because no mana and io have had a relationship and with music and also doing back-to-back -back sets so hopefully maybe no mana would do a little tribute to io just because um yeah io passed away in november and it's been really weird and crazy and seeing all these lineups pop up and knowing io won't be on them is just like i have i have chills saying that and i got emotional i heard an io song earlier today and i was just thinking about that um and so maybe no mana would do a little tribute for io that would be really awesome they have a song together um, so that would be a really nice moment to check out. And No Mana is also just really amazing, too. Um, and then the last one that I'm excited about is Of The Trees. They were on Electric Forest lineup for 2020, and I've gotten into them a little bit more. They're kind of similar to, like, your Charles I um, of, like, that freeform bass and everything like that. So I'm excited to see them. And then I've never heard of Reaper, but if there's any names that I didn't dive in too much of that you guys think I should check out, let me know. Like I said, this is going to be the first of many Imagine Music Festival content to come. So if you guys have any questions or want any tips on anything, please let me know down in the comments below. If I skipped over a name, let me know who I should dive into more because I will do an updated video when set times come out. Between now and the festival, this is really when I dig into those names that I don't know. So by the time that set times come out, I'm like, OK, that's who I want to see. That's who I want to see and things like that. So this is kind of the period where I do a little bit more discovery and I encourage you to as well. Definitely, you know, the artists that you love. But if you don't know any artists on that lineup, it's the time to check them out. Um, and by the time set times come out, you'll be able to maybe fit them in or just be down to explore and check them out on site when you're at the festival so that is really it for today's video if you did like today's video please do give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button to vibe with me for more festival tips and lineups to come i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye